Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this um, chocolate frosting material. So it's got like a kind of like a gold frosting glaze, whatever you want to call it on top of it. It looks pretty cool. I made it in EV and I'm going to be giving you guys the blend file. So I'm going to be making that available for free on um, BlendSwap. So instead of putting it on Patreon, because you guys are really awesome, I decided I'm just going to put it on BlendSwap. That's going to be in the link below. You can download that for free. It's free to create an account. You can download that and use that studio if you want. If you want to use your own scene, go ahead and do it. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to be doing nodes and stuff. The lighting's already set up. So let's get into it. Okay, so you guys have either now made your own scene that you want to add this material to, or you've gone ahead to BlendSwap and downloaded the free one that I offer in the description below, which is this guy here. And just to let you guys know, I have already added a default blank material to all of these objects here. So you don't have to go, and if you want all of them to have this material, they already have it by default. So it's just called material and it's just a blank diffuse material. And the lighting, everything's already set up and the renderer is by default set to, en to EV and I already have all the settings enabled, including refraction, if you guys ever want to make refractive materials. Okay, so with that being said, select any one of these objects, doesn't really matter. Then go to your shading view. And in the shading view over here, in our viewport, we want to hit Z and go to render. So it's already rendering. So everything's set up. All we have to do is create the material. So we have this blank material here, which is just a diffuse material that plugs into a material output. Now, so what we're going to do is make our chocolate material first. So we're going to delete this diffuse node. And what we're going to do is first of all, get a texture coordinate. So we're going to go shift A, search, and we're going to get a texture coordinate node. And what we're going to do is get a um, noise texture. So go shift A, search, and get a noise texture. We're going to take the object of this and plug it into the vector. And the scale we can mess around with later if we need to. Then we're going to go shift A, search, get a color ramp node. Put the color ramp node over here. And what we're going to do is take the color, plug it into the factor here. Move this guy up a little bit more. And then what we want to do is get a bump node. So shift A, search. And we want to get a bump node. Okay. And we're going to plug the color into the height here. And we're going to set the strength to 0 0.02. Now this is going to give the texture of our chocolate. So what we need to do now is make the actual shader, um, the principal shader. So go Shift A, search, and get a principled BSDF. And we're going to take the normal here and plug it into the normal of this shader. And then what we want to do is give this base color here, this kind of dark brown. Now if you guys want the exact kind of um, one that I have, I'm going to show you the hex value in a second. So if you go to the hex value here, if you type this in here, this number here, you're gonna get this exact same brown that I have here. If you guys want it to be exactly the same, or you can just eyeball it and put it in the same ballpark. Then what we're gonna do is come here and make the subsurface amount 0.08 and hit enter. And you're gonna come down here and make the subsurface color just a lighter brown like this. And once again, this is the hex value if you guys wanna type that in to get the exact same results as I do. Okay, that's really good. And then we're going to take the principal BSTF and plug it into the surface here. And we're going to see our chocolate material here. Now, this is probably not the most realistic one, but I, I reckon it looks pretty good. It's got that subsurface scatter. So that's our chocolate material here. And then what I'm going to do is just move this guy up a little bit more. And now we're going to create the, the gold glitter material. So that's pretty easy. So we're going to go Shift A, search, and get a principal shader. And I'm going to place it on top of here. And also what I'm going to do is just take this node, the principal BSTF node output and plug it into the, this material output node here. Because this is a separate material and we're going to combine them in a little while with a mask. So we're going to go Shift A, search, get a color ramp node. Oh, not that, a color ramp node. Like this. And we're going to plug the color into the base color here. Maybe I'll just zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to move this guy over here and I'm going to drag this black value up to this point and I'm going to make it a yellow material like this. So I'll give you guys the hex value in a second. So if you want to come over here, you can just type this um, value in here if you want that exact color. And then what I'm going to do is drag this value down here. And this one, I'm going to just, um, if I select a little eyedropper here, click on this, go to the color and get the little eyedropper, I can select this brown material down here. That's going to be the same as the chocolate. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go um, Shift A, search and get a noise texture. And I'm going to plug the noise texture into the color here. 
and we're going to make the scale of this 70 and then we're going to also get a texture coordinate and this is going to tell this guy how to distribute and we want it to distribute with the object in the vector okay that's good and now just come over here and increase the metallic on this slider all the way up to one and bring the roughness down a bit as well to about 0.26 okay so with that done now we have these two materials and to make things easier you can just select this group of the chocolate material and if you go shift p it's going to put them into a um, little nice little folder like this or whatever you want to call it grab this these guys at the top and if you go shift p it will do that as well so this is our, our gold material and this is our chocolate material and now what we're going to do is simply create a mask to mix them so let's go to the top here and what we're going to add in now is a new set of nodes. So this one's pretty simple. We're going to go Shift A, search, and we're going to get a texture coordinate node. And then we're going to go Shift A, search, and we're going to get a mix, sorry, a mix RGB node here. And what we're going to do is take the normal, we're going to plug the normal into the bottom socket, and we're going to leave it as it is. Or we can come here, I think, just make this value 0.6. Yeah, come over here, make the factor value 0.6, that's what you need to do. Then go Shift A, search, and we're gonna get a separate, so type in separate, RGB, so separate RGB. And we're gonna take the color here, plug it into the image. And then we're gonna go Shift A, search, and we're gonna get one more node, and it's gonna be our last node, and it's gonna be our color ramp node. And we're gonna take the B here, and plug it into the factor. That looks like this and we can come here and grab this um, slider drag it up a little bit and drag this guy in and we can make this B spline to soften that up a little bit and here we have a mask and now just uh, one more note so we're going to shift a search and get a mix um, shader and then what we're going to do is take these two materials we created so we're going to take the chocolate material plug it into the bottom input and take this one from the principal shader and pl plug it into the top input like this and take the shader and plug it into the surface here and then what we need to do is grab this color output here from this mask and plug it into the factor like so okay so I see, seem to have messed them up a bit so all we have to do is come down here to our mix shader and just swap these around so the chocolate material needs to be at the top and here we have it so this is our material um, so what we can also do is just give this background material this backdrop a color so I'm going to select the, the floor this just this plane over here and this already has a, a default material applied to it so we're just going to come over here and let's just make this a color so I'm just going to make it um, do something like that anyway and here we have it so I hope you guys um, enjoyed this tutorial and this is the material and um, yeah I'll probably make a few more of these material tutorials and I hope you guys like them thanks for watching